I stay any longer, I'm going to fall asleep, so we have to go now. There's another rest stop 30 minutes from here. If I can't sleep there, I don't know. Just a little bit. That's not how you open that. That's not a good sign. The exit for the Loveland Pass. Rest stop, two hour limit. What the All right, not the place I want to pull over, but Enzo's acting really weird. Enzo, Lotus! <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. I've not had a shower yet. We are loaded up. And by we, I mean pups are loaded up. Into the park before it gets too warm because it's going to be another hot day here in Utah. First, before we leave. Because if not, somebody, you know, somebody will park there and then I won't be able to get the airstream out. The parky, parky. Our last time at Veterans Memorial Park. Note to self, picking this up on the iPhone. This camera's dying. I don't let that big old machine go by. Break these parents getting here. They know what's up too. Cause it is only 7.30. It's only 7.30 in the morning. What's it? When you're used to having your entire house with you, you kind of forget stuff when you don't. Got their step, camera bag, so my camera died. The chuck it stick. <laughs> Boy, go poopies. Such a sucker for little signs like this. I know a lot of you say you miss just like the good old fashioned pup vlogs. And I gotta be honest, being here this morning, I do too. We did this last week before we left my cousins, but we came here for about 20, 30 minutes. It wasn't very long because I knew we were going to go up to the National Forest. I wasn't too worried about getting a bunch of exercise that morning. It was really just a just in case things went sideways exercise. Never go sideways. It feels like one of those days back in the old days where my vlogs were, me and the pups were doing that day. Oh, that's such a good boy. Got the solid. Oh, parents, when you're excited, it's pooping solid. There's a homeless guy sleeping dug out back there. Well, two things. One, when we rushed out this morning, I don't know if I'd give him some cash, honestly. But it's very humbling when you see stuff like that because I've been struggling a lot, if you know, following along. And I see people like that, and it's like, you know, it could always be worse. So, like, I feel terrible for him, but at the same time, it's a good reminder for me of how grateful and how fortunate I still am. No, not playing baseball. Anyways, uh, what I was saying though a minute ago is this feels very reminiscent because, like, last time we were here, when I when I know we're going up in the National Forest Land, where we have to be completely self-sufficient. Let's go this way, boys. Get away from that big machine. Um, you know, there's so many things I have to make sure I remember. I don't have to do that right now because we're not going to be leaving civilization at the moment. This way, Enzo. That's a dead end. Yep, somehow Kroger still cost me $170 last night. I'm not even sure how that happened. This is cool. I took some photos. Didn't even notice it. We've been to this park three or four times now. I didn't even notice this section. I really like this park. All right, we're heading back to the truck. Now, I say all the time, oh, you should follow us on Instagram. And I get it, not everybody has Instagram or cares. But I tell you what, if you enjoy these vlogs and you're not following us on Instagram, because I put so much stuff on the stories when we're doing travel days like this, it's definitely more up to date. Let's just put it that way. My stories are real time. Hey, uh-uh, come. We don't get on the road. You know better. You knows better. I forgot your water too. Thankfully, we're really close to my cousin's house. Heel, in. Teamwork. Watch out. Watch out. Well, I may have forgotten the step and camera batteries and toys, but I got my emergency clip bar stash in the truck. You boys haven't moved in the hour that we've been here. I had to go in there to get them to get take a drink. That's what I mean when I say, although I still feel guilty sometimes leaving them in the car or how small the Airstream is, honestly, they don't do anything with that space. Because the fact of the matter is, unless I'm with them, uh, Morgan, if you're watching, my cousin, uh, I'm stealing your electricity. I'm stealing your Wi-Fi. Obviously, I stole your water and I did a little laundry. So yeah, I love you. Pup, up, you gonna eat? Come on, mom. You gonna eat? You gonna eat, sweetie? Oh, that's a good boy. Got that last piece, Bubba. There you go. Lo, you gonna eat? Sometimes he waits till Enzo's done. Oh my goodness, I just love them pets. Yep, sometimes you just gotta wait for some reason. You like to be the center of attention. I'm just taking your time. It's okay, it's okay. Got nowhere to be. Wow, finally. Wow. It's not that Enzo's a fast eater, it's that Lotus has to wait till Enzo's done eating. Gotta be their attention. Quiet homesick candle. It's funny. Dinner's on me, Mo. I feel bad. I did use an awful lot of water and electricity the two times that I've been here. And this around the whole time, finally got to use it. Thankfully, not for us. When I saw one of the neighbors getting jumper cables out, so I offered it to them. Even though I don't intend to be here again anytime in the near future, it could happen again. So let's, you know, 
win some good graces of the neighbors. All right, we're about to pull out of my cousin's neighborhood. I'm really happy because I've accepted the fact that it's time to go home. GPS, home, just out of curiosity. You know, it's more just something to do when I'm like mapping stuff. I'm like, oh, I wonder how far I am. And I realized that for the first time, I'm less than one day from home driving, which is still a long ways. I'm not saying we're going home today. Without Starlink, I'm just not willing to do it. That was like the last straw. I was, the last few days at camp were super hard on me. Probably the hardest that I've had this entire journey. And I realized like I, I need that break. Uh, even this little break was phenomenal, but like I need, I need to not have to focus every bit of my energy on worrying about the pups and rally and where we're gonna sleep the next night and just, I just, I need a break. So it's a 24 hour drive. I don't know, it's, that clock's not right. It's 11.20 local time. The idea that I could technically be home tomorrow by lunch. Kroger said have 10 for 10 rock stars, so I got 10. This is what I mean though when I say I have no plan. What am I searching for? Denver, start. Like who does that? Who just types in cities? No, when we left Cincinnati- Film that so Google isn't yelling out my cousin's address. Uh, but who just types in cities? I typed in Denver, seriously, Denver. I was like, Denver. Cause I know there's two ways to go. And if I just type in Cincinnati, it'll take me through Wyoming and I'd rather go through Denver. Like who does that? Boys? Just forgot to take your collars off. Oh, come here, Lotus. Well, don't lay down, dude. If I know we're driving for more than like an hour or so, I take these off. Dang, we're being chased out of the neighborhood. You tell him, Enzo. You tell him. You tell him. Yeah, you tell him. All right, you told him. Montana plates from somebody who probably actually lives in Montana. It's cool. Adobe. I don't know if that's their headquarters or just uh, boys with the opinions. I don't know why I find this so fascinating. I wish we had more trains and I wish they didn't go that slow. So I'm sure I'll put up like the time warp that I'm doing, but we're driving through Price Canyon in Utah right now. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty driving through this. I saw a sign for a rec area similar there. That's how the Alabama Hills is listed as a rec area. So I bet there'd be some pretty cool stuff to do there. And I'm sure we could camp there if we wanted to, but we are not stopping right now. All right, not the place I want to pull over, but Enzo's acting really weird. Nico potty. This isn't the best spot for it. Let's get up here with the road. Enzo, this way. Enzo, Lotus. Not so. Sorry, buddy. Careful, don't get your tail in it. It's like I fix one pup and then the other one breaks. I don't, I don't know. Buddy, I'm sorry. I'm glad we stopped in time. I feel like I've said this many times before, but that's why you really got to know your pups because if they're doing something out of the ordinary, like if Lotus had been doing that, that would have been fine. But for Enzo to be acting that way, kept going back and forth, I knew something wasn't right. You feel better now? Okay. Well, I wasn't going to make a special pullover to get a GoPro battery, but since we had to stop, I guess we'll uh, start the time warp. It only died a few miles ago, so. Good timing, I guess. Right before we pulled over, I could see an Airstream up in the distance. I was like, oh well, I guess we'll never see it. They had pulled over too. So if you were driving down this stretch of highway in Utah, I think I-70 or something, you saw two Airstreams pulled over within a couple miles. From behind, you can just tell how much bigger it is. It's the only thing I wish the smaller ones could be wider. I'm trying to get other Airstream people to wave. I'm trying to teach them. They seem to be kind of oblivious to this. All right, here we are. We are one exit away from Moab. Moab is one of those places I do really want to go, but it wasn't like necessarily a bucket list for this round. We're one exit away, but that exit is west. We actually just passed it. I really wish we could be going that way, but it is, well now it's 99, but it's been over 100 degrees. It's just not really much, not really much we can do in Moab when it's over 100 degrees with pups and rally. I mean, you can't, there's no shade, can't even leave them in the car and like go look at it for a minute by myself. Like there's just, oh well, there's always next time. Is that so rally? Oh, maybe Sands rally next time. It is way too puppin' hot. I had to stop and get gas. Enzo seems to be acting fine right now, which is good. He's laying down, that's good. Because I don't even, I was originally gonna let them go, but it is so hot. I walked out of the shade for just a second. It was like, no, like I don't even want, thought about like, oh, I could walk them over there or something. I don't even want them walking in the pavement. I don't even want them outside unless it, we absolutely have to. Oh, and there's a biker gang, not a gang, but like on a road trip. And uh, aside from all being completely sunburned, which I feel bad for, uh, they're all pulled over for water and alcohol. They're drinking alcohol. It's like, really? Like, except for that one girl, like all their ba all their drinks have bags around them. Gosh, now Lotus is crying. Boys, it's 100 degrees. Come on, did you need to go? Lotus, it's 100 degrees. He's definitely gonna go, because when he goes that far away, he likes his privacy. Wait, so go pee pee? Yup, there he goes. There was a rest stop in 17 minutes. That's where we're gonna stop. It is so hot that the ground, this ground, my feet sink into it. I feel better? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me check your booty. Okay. You want to go pee pee? Go pee pee? Oh yeah. It's going to be a fun ride home. All right. Well, I guess we don't have to stop at the rest stop now, but. Welcome to Colorado. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome. to Colorado. 
Oh, well, thank you, Google. It's coming up. 95K is coming. 95K is coming. 95,000 miles. We're going strong. Huh, I never actually see signs for BLM land. Well, I was just on the phone and I was like, uh, I'm probably gonna lose you now. This is just so gorgeous. I hate that video never does this justice. It's Colorado River. I like how they built the highway just to follow it. It's like, well, the river did all the hard work. Just built the highway next to it. Oh my gosh, I'm going through another tunnel. Wow. Uh, I might lose you. Unlike the other one, I can't see light at the end of this one. Very bright in here. Now, sometimes they'll put cell towers in tunnels like this. Nope, my bars are dropping. Hold on. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm almost to the end. I can see sunlight, but it's still like a ways away. Bars are cl climbing again. Wow, that was impressive. All right, this is by far the most beautiful section of road that I've driven on. Minus maybe the Pacific Coast Highway. Uh, but I am a little nervous. I mean, both pumps are snoozing right now. All right, we just had a potty break at this rest stop. There's nowhere to pull over through this section of Colorado. So when I saw a rest stop, I was like, mm, let's just pull over and see if either of them has to go and Enzo did go. So that's good. I just noticed the sign. Keep pets on leash. Okay, fine. I actually did do that. Keep pets off lawn area. Well, where do you want them to be? On the pavement? No. I didn't even notice that. I paid no attention to that, so. Oh well. Reading online, and people seem to say it's okay to leave this open a little bit. It'll draw out the hot air, so I'm hoping that works because, like, it's super nice out here, but it's warm inside the airstream. I'm hoping it'll cool it down so that way when we get to where we're gonna sleep tonight, which I'm not really sure where that is, it'll be cooler in there. All right, I guess we'll leave the windows down for a bit. I guess we'll leave them down for a bit. Wow, talk about building a house on a side of a cliff. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Maybe just like a few feet back. We just came in here to turn around. I had to get the camera out because this might be the most beautiful Walmart I've ever seen in my life. Like, what in the world is going on here? Like, I don't even know what to do with this. What do you boys think? I don't think I've ever used the words Walmart and beautiful in the same sentence, but that is just gorgeous in the backdrop and everything. What in the world? Oh, we're in Vail. That's why. I had no idea. I was like, why is everything so gorgeous around here? We're in Vail. That is why. Okay. I don't even think this is like the main part of Vail and it is still just gorgeous. White River National Forest, 9,000 feet. We're officially coming up on 10, there it is, 10,000 feet. My oh my, look at the sunset. 10,000 feet boys, 10,000 feet rally. 10,000 feet, it's our first five digits and there's still mountains all around. It's so crazy. But I love how the Tundra's having no problem keeping up. I'm not even in high gear or like I could, I could downshift if need be. So like, that's why we got a truck that can tow twice what we weigh. Wow, 59 degrees, certainly dropped some temperatures. Literally an hour ago, we were at 90. Okay, there's definitely still a little bit of snow on these mountains. That is crazy. When you're just shy of 11,000 feet and in a tunnel. The exit for the Loveland Pass, if it wasn't dark and I wasn't exhausted, I would totally go that way just for the fun. All right, so we pulled over here, rest stop, two hour limit. What the, what is the point of a rest stop if it's a two hour limit? That's barely enough time for like the pups and rally to have like some time, let alone myself. So I don't know. I guess we're gonna sit here for a couple hours. Do one more potty break. Let's go potty, come on this way. I wanted to rest here, but if I stay any longer, I'm going to fall asleep, so we have to go now. Well, this rest stop, as I said, officially sucks, but at least they have a dog park. Although, the idea of a dog park in the dark scares the crap out of me. All right, there's another rest stop 30 minutes from here. If I can't sleep there, I don't know. I don't want, like, a crazy amount of caffeine. I just want a little bit of caffeine, just a little bit. That's not how you open that. <sighs> That's not a good sign. Maybe a snack. Normally I wouldn't get me on like this, but I really don't want to fall asleep. All right, I know this seems counterintuitive, but 30 minutes. I'm um, uh, not gonna lie. It's, it's not something I want to do right now. Oh my mm. goodness. Wow, pup. <sighs> All right, two failed rest stops with no overnight parking. We're at Walmart, I'm going to sleep. Creepy guy tried to give us some ice. I don't know what that's about, but Oh, this day is over. Good night. Better all.